Mercury is cyber stalking me. She's mentally ill. I think she wants my life. Mercury lives and breathes my existence. It's sick. Mercury has been saying, she's not stalking me, I'm stalking her. Which is the most ridiculous thing that I've ever heard in my life. I'm a former cast member of Love & Hip Hop New York. I do not know Mercury. She was a complete stranger that started showing up at charity events that I was hosting, asking me to get her on television. My first encounter with Mercury, she approached me. She was very friendly. I took a photo with her and she just was clinging to me. The second time Mercury popped up, I was doing my regular Monday night premiere party for Love & Hip Hop. She happened to show up at one of these and she's like, hey, remember me? I'm like, oh, hi, how are you? I could just feel her bug-eyed crazy stare. The third and final time was at an event that I was hosting. I don't think it was coincidental. I think she purposely came there to be around me. Do I know why she's become fixated and obsessed with me? I wish someone could tell me. It will not stop. It's night and day, 24 seven. She contacts everyone I do business with, people that leave comments on my Instagram page, people that like my pictures. She sends them her phone number to expose me or she'll call me a fat whale. Big bird, fat pig, fat whore. It doesn't stop. I have thousands of screenshots, videos. I am scared for my life. She posted she was coming for me in cold blood like a heat seeking missile. People wanna be on TV? They think it's so wonderful? This is the ugly side of being famous. She preys upon me. And I blocked her. <laughs> you think that blocking worked? A hundred pages later, here I am. Well, Chrissy, good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, you know Mercury? I know her, but I don't know her. Right. You I know met, her because of this situation. You've met three times. Three times. Well, the fourth, when we were right. put into an interrogation room, but we can get to that later. Right. Mercury wrote in. She says that you are stalking her and you say it's quite the opposite. Why do you say she's stalking you? Um, well, I don't know why she's doing it. Um, I think, you know, I can't figure it out, Dr. Phil. We've, you know, my friends At and I- At what point did you decide you were being stalked by her? At what point did it go from just someone that you were interacting with or someone that you were trading messages with or were on each other's sites or whatever? Um, At what point did you say, this has crossed the line, I'm being stalked, and what was it that caused you to say that? When she started really going crazy on social media, non-stop, and when she started contacting everyone that I came in contact with, contacting businesses, um, I have a domestic violence foundation, Survive to Thrive Global, she started making fake pages and messaging women saying she was a counselor, mm -hmm. sending them her phone number.